Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm Allie McNair, guest hosting today, and we're going to talk about a great event, something to look forward to coming up in March. It's the Hilton Head Island Wine and Food Festival. Here to fill us in with all the details and why we need to get those tickets, we have Julie Musselman. She is the event coordinator. Great to see you, Julie. Thank you. And also Sean Barth. Sean is with the Hilton Head Hospitality Association and also teaches at USCB. Great to have you both here. Thank Thanks. you. Okay, the date's first off March 8th through the 12th. Yes. Um, the beginning of the event really involves various chefs on the island. Um, tell me a little bit about that, Julie. Well, we have a Great Chefs of the South series, which is actually um, a series of wine dinners that happen throughout the island. We've got um, the greatest chefs pairing their favorite menu items, some of them brand new special items, with um, various wineries. Winemakers will be in house and wow. we'll be talking with the guests about the wines that they've paired with those menus. It's going to be fabulous. What's great is at your website, and we um, will have that website or do have it up for folks, is that you've actually got profiles of some of the chefs, do you not, yes. on the website? Yes. And also with the menu, I think. Absolutely. Which is really neat. So people can go there and decide, well, what is it that I want to have this evening or what kind of wines do, you know, whoever or winemaker do I want to talk to? That's a really good bonus. Yes, and it's very simple. You just call the restaurant and make a reservation. So that's what's involved with that. Is that yeah. just one night? No, actually that is the 8th through the 11th and there are several choices each night. Wow, that sounds great. Sean, how many people take advantage of this event locally versus that maybe travel for the event? Well, we found over the years that we generate a number of rooms from out of a 50-mile radius. Uh, it, it expands every year. Last year was about 66% of people that came from out of a 50-mile radius. Well, I know in the Island Packet at one point, I think it was there, maybe I'm wrong, but that they f uh, featured the fact that the Chamber had put an ad, I think it was the Chamber, unless it was you mm -hmm. all, in Bon Appetit about this actual event. Yes, we're a featured event for the Chamber's initiative in culinary tourism and we've actually achieved the Bon Appetit seal of approval for the Wine and Food Festival Now what year. does that mean? Should I be impressed because <laughs> yes. or not, I, I cook with things out of cans, yes. so forgive me. <laughs> well, I think um, we're all in different stages of cooking, but it's very exciting for the festival and it's great for the Hospitality Association and the Visitor and Convention Bureau to be partnering on this marketing effort. Um, bon Appetit is advertising our festival, obviously, um, but one of the exciting things that they're doing for us is they're bringing us a celebrity guest guest chef Ooh. to the public tasting um, and his name is Mike Lotta. He's from Fig in Charleston and he is the recipient of the James Beard Award this year. Wow, yes. so that's big doings. And the yes. public event is? The, the public event is March 12th okay. and that's out at Honeyhorn. Beautiful. And um, not only does it involve mu numerous wines to taste mm -hmm. and um, several of our restaurant partners will be out there with food as well. Um, we also have a what we're calling the Outdoor Gourmet Pavilion, and we're going to have cooking demonstrations all throughout the day. That sounds great. Yeah. Really great. So if I'm watching now or listening and I want to get a ticket, can I go online and do it that way? Absolutely. You can go onto our website and get tickets for the Grand Tasting, which is March 11th. Okay, so that'll be, is that Saturday? Or? That's Friday, Friday night thank you. at Sea okay. Pines okay. at the Harbortown Conference Center, and that's an event really designed to showcase the higher end premium wines in more of an intimate setting. We only have about 200 tickets available for that wow. event. They're going quickly. And what do those cost? $50. Okay, and then what about the uh, Honeyhorn event? The Honeyhorn event is the public tasting. Right. That's the event that everyone associates with the festival. Sure, sure. Um, it is a $40 ticket, gets you on the grounds and enables you to taste all of the wines, um, participate in the wine auction there that mm. benefits our scholarship program. Super. Um, also, we have industry events like the Waiters Race and the Bartenders Challenge. Um, we're going to have entertainment. It we're, sounds fun. Like along with the cooking fun. demonstrations, um, like I said, Mike will be there mm -hmm. um, representing Bon Appetit. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a great, great day. Sounds fabulous. Sean, you, you teach uh, in the area of hospitality. You're the man that told me the numbers as far as locals or out-of-towners. Will there be a way for you to tell, or how do you tell this year, who's come? Does Bon Appetit bring in? A wider range of people from you know areas further than 50 miles away. Yes ma'am every year we we survey festival attendees both at the survey and afterwards uh, through a series of questions to determine where where people are coming from to see us and that's how we came up with that 66 percent last year. Well you and I were chatting before we started uh, taping and what I think is really neat is your students get actual hands-on experience 
through events like this one. Tell me how that works. Well, at this particular event, we'll have close to 40 of students that are in my wine, spirits, and beverage class that uh, will be there attending the festival and helping us out in various areas. So. Uh, along with that, they work other events in the area, um, both from a surveying aspect and then also just to help produce and execute. So there, it's a full range of, of learning experiences. Uh -huh. Now, don't get mad at me on this, but a wine, what is the class? Uh, wine, spirits, and beverages. So what's involved with that? Do you do a lot of tasting? I mean, I'm <laughs> sure that class is like enrolled to the mat. <laughs> uh, it, it is a popular class. Unfortunately, we do not do any tastings. Okay. Um, I send them to other places that, that will bring the students in and do different wine tastings for those that are of age. Um, I teach about the history of beverages from coffee to Red Bull to wine. Mm. It's uh, an all-encompassing class. So, and, and is that a background you think people really need to know if they go into the hospitality industry? Well, when you look at our at the area that we live in, especially, and we have high-end private clubs mm -hmm. like Belfair and Colleton River, uh, going into a job like that as a food and beverage manager, you have to have a knowledge of, of beverages, wines, mm -hmm. spirits, coffees, to to be able to give people the the atmosphere that they're right. looking for. Interesting. Well, that's, that's a really good point. For someone that may be watching that hasn't gone to this in the past, how, what do you say to them to encourage them to give it a try this year? I mean, well, fun, but... Well, it, it, it is a lot of fun. Um, it's always been the event on Hilton Head that officially ends winter, Yay. no matter what the weather we is. We like that. Um, you know, because the coming of spring, when Wine Fest gets here, spring is right around the corner and people kind of come out of their hibernation and, uh, and meet their friends at the, at the Wine and Food Festival. And it's, it's gonna be a great day. I think with our Bon Appetit partnership and our reach, we're gonna have a lot of folks visiting the island. It's gonna be a busy week. Yeah. And, and as far as making reservations for the great chefs in the South at the various restaurants, mm -hmm. do you, I mean, how early do you think they'll be taking reservations? For they are that? taking reservations now. Oh, they are. And all of the information is on our website, and oh, several good. of them have limited availability. So you better call. So you want to go in and call later. exactly. Don't procrastinate. Exactly, and we also have our tickets to the grand tasting and public tasting available on the website as have, well. Have you sold many already? Yes, we I have. I mean, we're getting towards the end of the month, so I would yes. imagine you have. Yes, we've sold a lot, and we will only have a limited number on site. Mm -hmm. Um, and once they're gone, they're gone. That's it. So, so you don't want to be disappointed by showing up and then there aren't enough If tickets. you get them in advance, you get them in the mail and you just walk in and hand your ticket over. So you do limit then at those two events the number of people you're going to have? We have to. Okay. And as far as being able to plan Manage appropriately. It. Sure. Exactly. Do you have enough? Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you still signing up uh, people to be involved as far as um, serving food or you know samples of food and that kind of thing? Or are you pretty much all set? We're pretty. We we've got a um, a good handle on the restaurants that are coming mm -hmm. for the public tasting. Um, we are still um, filling all of our volunteer slots. Okay. And, um, and why would it be fun to volunteer? I mean. What, how do you encourage people to maybe get involved with that? Well, funny that you ask because we've never had a problem filling those volunteer oh, really? slots. Okay. Yes, people okay. love to volunteer for the wine festival because it's fun. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you work four hours and then you get to go play in the festival for the rest it's of the time. So it's not all bad. Yeah. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. Sean, you've got it in your role. You're a professor, you're working with some of your students that are at this festival, you're working with volunteers, business owners. I mean, you have to really be able to work with all people from all different perspectives. How tough is that? Uh, I have 17 years experience working in hospitality. I love working with people, um, young and old. I, I think it's a great, great experience for the students. I, I really think Absolutely. that them seeing this firsthand lends to their education just Absolutely. I, I agree with you. Hands-on experience. So, I mean, it's a great event for all of us to go attend, but great for the students, too. Yeah. Get, we're almost out of time. Again, the uh, dates? The dates are March 8th through 12th. Okay. And you can visit our website, HiltonHeadIslandWineAndFood.com, to get your tickets. Well, Julie and Sean, it's been great having you on. Thank Thanks you so much. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. And we'll be back in just a moment.